What's up gamers, Peace and Grease here, and uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about the bad news for Cyberpunk 2077, as well as I'm actually going to talk about one of the weirdest things that is missing from Cyberpunk 2077, and then finally I'm actually going to be showing you how to get down from B's mansion. Now if you weren't aware, V does have this really nice mansion in one of the endings. And I'm not going to spoil it for you, but this, in fact, is V's mansion that we are standing outside of right now. And this is really only featured in that final, one of those final cutscenes. So you, you really can't access it easily in game. And there are several videos out there that show you step by step how to kind of glitch through V's apartment building to get to this location so I'm not going to rehash that plenty of great videos out there for you to be able to watch that but I don't see a lot of people covering how to get back down from here once you once you come up here now you may at that point think well just fast travel away well if you weren't aware you can't actually fast travel like you can in other games the only way to actually access fast travel is to go to one of these blue icons you see here on the map and then it only takes you to another blue icon, but you have to physically stand in front of it and interact with it in order to use it. Clearly, where we happen to be standing now, there is no blue icon that you can actually access up here. So, that's not an option. Now, this really isn't that big of a deal. There is some loot inside of Bee's Mansion, nothing groundbreaking for sure. There is a unique outfit that if you're a collector and you want that unique outfit, yeah, okay. I could certainly see why you would want to collect it and, and go and get it. So why we even do this video then? Well, it's just going to simply serve as a medium to talk about those two things, as I said already. The weirdest thing missing from this game, the bad news about Cyberpunk 2077. So that's why I'm doing the video. All right, so the bad news. CD Projekt Red has announced that there will be no further updates for Cyberpunk 2077 until next year, 2022. And that's going to be sometime in the first quarter, which I believe goes to March, if I'm not mistaken. So, chances are we're not going to see any other updates until probably March, maybe even potentially February at that point. And then, some of those may only be bug fixes rather than any kind of additional t content, per se. So, who knows when we're actually going to see more content for Cyberpunk 27, 2077. And I'm really kind of conflicted about this. Now, I am very much a Witcher fan. Not, not the Netflix series, but the actual games. So as such, part of me wants them to just stop working on Cyberpunk 2077 and focus on The Witcher. Focus on that. Get the next game out. That's the next game I, I most want to play. But then I can't deny the potential of Cyberpunk 2077. It's very easy to see. But even though something may have potential, if it's untapped, then what's the point? Each month that goes by that CD Projekt Red doesn't really do anything with this game, it's just another nail in the coffin for this game. So, by the time they get around to actually releasing additional content, who's going to be left to play it? Are you, are you literally going to be making additional content for a few hundred people? Because, again, each month that goes by, you're losing that much more of, of a base, a customer base, for this game. So, I, yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of conflicted about that. But, moving on to the next topic, and that is the weirdest thing missing from this game. And it should be the most obvious thing that should be in this game. What is it? Flying cars. Flying vehicles. They should be in this game. Absolutely. And the fact that they're not in this game is the weirdest thing ever. In fact, you can look this up right now on any of your favorite kind of search engines. There are companies right now in this very day and age that are working on flying motorcycles. There, there are companies that have prototypes for flying motorcycles, like speeders from Star Wars. I'm not even joking. You can look it up. There are companies working on 
jetpacks. There are companies working on boots that allow you to fly. Of course, they use water, so you have to be near the source of water. But there are companies working on vehicles, like a one-man vehicle. There are other companies working on, like, two- and three-man vehicles. And that's going on right now in this day and age that have working prototypes. But yet, Cyberpunk 2077 set far into the future, and you're telling me there's no flying vehicles that we can actually access, buy, and fly? What's up with that? I mean, there's even landing pads all over Night City. You'll find landing pads specifically for these flying vehicles, but yet there's no option to buy one and fly one around. Now, I largely <laughs> suspect this has to do with a couple of things. One, many of these buildings are, some, are, are not rendered, so you can actually just fly right through them. One of my favorite things to do is to get to a on top of a building like this one and see all of the different various directions I can go. And in doing this, I haven't found any loot, I haven't found any Easter eggs or really any kind of interesting items. But I have found a number of buildings that when I jump to them, I just fall straight through them because they're not fully rendered. So I suspect the first thing is Cyberpunk doesn't, or excuse me, CD Projekt Red doesn't want a bunch of videos out there of people flying, you know, some type of flying vehicle through these buildings. So I think that's one part of it. The other part of it, I think, probably has to do with the ceiling. They probably don't have a set ceiling limit, and as such, they don't want the impending glitches or bugs that are going to arise from that and people flying out of this entire skybox of Night City and into, you know, this blackness of an unrendered world. So I think that's the other aspect of it. But I mean, it's so weird that we don't have like anti-grav suits that allow us to float for several seconds across, you know, large gaps in buildings. Or why isn't there a million dollar flying sports car? that we can purchase if we have the credits to do so in this game. You look at all of the different variants of cars and motorcycles, not a single flying vehicle. Even if you look at a game like Grand Theft Auto, they've got multiple variants of airplanes and jet planes and helicopters and even a blimp for goodness sake, but not one single flying vehicle in the entirety of Cyberpunk 2077. And it is so bizarre that they haven't included one. But, I digress. Let's go ahead and show you how to get down from V's Mansion. So, standing in front of V's Mansion, to the right you'll see the billboard behind that tree. That's where we're headed. You don't need double jump. Um, if you do it right, you won't need a ton of health. You will need some health, though, obviously, in case you mess it up. So once we get to this point, we can't walk through this balcony, so we're going to have to jump up on it. You can drop one level down if you need to. If you do, it's fine. Save your second double jump so that you're on the... so you land on that balcony. And we're just going to walk down this balcony until we get to this opening right here. So as you can see, this building is connected... And see, as you can see there, I just took some damage. It is connected to V's Mansion here. Now, you can walk behind V's Mansion and jump on some of these buildings back there. Be careful. There are one or two buildings that are not rendered at all, and you will actually fall all the way through them down to the ground. So, you can walk across that. You can walk on that as well. You will start to sink halfway through this, this floor. In fact, I'll just show you here. I think I should be able to jump back up here. No, nope, it's not going to do it now. But yeah, you can jump on some of these. And I'll just show you here. So you see this round structure? Bloop! You just walk right through it. So even though you can see the outline of this round structure, <laughs> you can just walk through it. So I think that's part of the reason why we don't have flying vehicles in this game. Again, you can hop up here and walk around if you want to. Again, be very careful because there are some areas back there that are not rendered, so you will fall through them. It's a lot of fun to do. 
you find really interesting locations, but no interesting loot. So once you're to this point at this round structure, you'll see this billboard here. If you walk to this side of it and look down, you'll see this sign uh, structure just below us here. But if you jump straight to it, you can potentially take damage. Now this building that we happen to be standing on right here, there are actually balconies all the way down. So if you drop down close to this building and then use your second jump to hop back onto the balcony, you can keep yourself from taking any damage. Like so. Just like that. And you just do that all the way down. Which I just took some damage, but that's okay. And then from here, you're just going to jump to this and then down on this median it's just like so and then you're just going to quite simply summon your vehicle and that's all there is to it but let me know what you guys and gals think down in the comment section below what do you think about the news that we're not getting any more updates are you kind of over Cyberpunk 2077? And what do you think about the lack of flying vehicles or suits in this game? And until next time, peace out.